All right, that's your seven-day forecast. I've been waiting to uh, chat it up with these guys who are making this amazing Lego creation that we cannot take our eyes off of. Guys? You know what? Uh, <laughs> I look at these two kids, and I'm like, I wish I was these two kids when I was 14, because they're, like, super cool. What do, you t what do you get when you take two aspiring kid architects, both Lego enthusiasts? Their masterpiece is right here, Brad. Micah Ohanian and Evan Rader are here to show us their creation. You guys... Um, First of all, why did you decide to make the library downtown? Um, one day when I was leaving a Padres game, I saw this being built without the dome yet. Right. And I asked my dad what the building was, and he said it was the new library. Then two months later, I went back to another Padres game, and they had the dome being built. Wow. And I thought that would be a cool Lego piece. And then about three months later, the library found out about this. They hooked me up with the architect's plans and also um, they said wow. that um, a private donor will come in and fund for the entire project. Get out of here. Now, what kind of... Wait a minute. Hold <laughs> so on. he's holding the blueprints so when you're, the actual library. So when you're talking funding for something like this, you have the <laughs> blueprints for the library. You're talking funding. What kind of funding are we talking about for the actual buying um, of the Legos? Or, I mean... Um, what kind of money are we talking about is what I'm getting at here. <laughs> come on, Micah. Um, this is going to be a fundraiser for the library. We have... Um, on our Facebook page, we have a link to fund it. And... Um, Basically, what we were going to originally do mm -hmm. is we were going to um, basically reimburse ourselves and then give the rest of the remaining money back to the library. But since someone stepped in and said, I'll cover the cost, Look at his, that. all the money will go straight to the library. All right, Evan, the detail that goes into this thing is amazing. And I was asking you, you guys did not get that Lego glue. No. That, so when you go to Legoland, you see all those amazing displays in mini, miniature land or whatever. Those things are glued together, so somebody... This is like legit Legos put together. There's no glue, so if I trip and fall, there would be something bad going <laughs> the on. Get out of the table. It's right, yeah. Evan. It's yeah. not good. So, so tell me about the detail, the intricacies of, of putting this thing together. Um, we really had to figure out how to make it really secure and stable without it, like rocking too much. Because, right. like you said, we didn't we didn't use any glue, um, especially with the dome too, because that's the least stable part. I was gonna say, I'm looking at the the detail of this thing. I mean, it's amazing. You head down to the flowers, to the random street light on the back corner that most people probably won't even see. You guys got it all down. How do you transport this? How did you even, <laughs> bring, how did you even bring this to our studio? Oh, look at the van over here. It looks like it's got an air suspension or something to yeah. it. I mean, it's like oh, a, is that the, the, the blue yeah, van yeah, over the blue there? Van. Look at the blue van sitting right okay, over there. Okay, tell me about, are you guys nervous when you're transporting this thing around or not? Um, both of us were sitting in the back watching it, make sure nothing fell <laughs> so off. So sitting in the back. Yeah. How did that look? You guys are like nervous. Um, we're holding it together. It's it's pretty stable just on the ground, but so it the whole does thing, shake. Yeah. Get out of here. Um, yeah. Mike is up top of the van holding the dome like this. Yep. Brad. Brad, step away from the Lego library. <laughs> hey, do you remember when Be you careful. were a kid? Look at how far away I am from this thing. <laughs> do you remember being a kid, Raul? I remember playing with Legos yeah. when I was a kid, and it yeah. came in a box, and it was already everything right. was already pre-made. You basically right. just had to put the pieces together. How right. do you guys get all of these pieces like this and end up with something like that? How long did it take you? Um, about, we're going in, this has been an entire year. I know. Yeah. Like, how many hours a day after school? I mean, um, what? During the school year, we did it every weekend, and once the breaks hit, we did it every day. At whose house? Mine. At your house. Yeah. Evan, you like going to his house? Yeah. Well, you like hanging out? It's like my second home, pretty it's much. Yeah, so. Y'all neighbors, y'all. Yeah. Home. You can walk He's over. Like down the street. So. <laughs> Look at these two. I want to be yeah. friends with them. Yeah. It's like, see, this <laughs> is the old. Yeah. See, check this out. This is like the old version of you two. Like in like 40 years, you're gonna get this. You know. You uh, guys yeah. don't seem excited about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You might like, want to go a different path while you're really looking at us right now. No. I mean, yeah. hey, great you, career, but yeah. You guys, what are you looking forward to in the future? Are yeah. you, is this something you want to do as architecture? Yeah. Have you thought yeah. about that down the road? Um, actually, a few years ago, me and him were joking around. Like, um, we wanted to. We want. I said that I want to be an architect, and he said, "Well, maybe, yeah, maybe I can join him. Maybe we could build like a miniature model out of Legos. Not, not as big as this, obviously. obviously. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, I think you already have an architecture firm named Ohanian and Raider. Raider and Ohanian. I mean, it sounds yeah. great. By the way, before we go, we gotta do this. You guys made a little Fox Five, little set there. There's Christy Russo on the Mega Map. Is that what that is? And then yeah. Brad, Brad and I are sitting on the desk. Now, did you get my glasses on there? Let me yeah. see if there's. He's got the glasses in there. I have says. glasses. Yes. Now, can I take that home with me? Or y'all gonna just put it back in a box? Uh, box. Look at this box. guy. He's like, I'm taking it back. Thank you guys. <laughs> Keep up Thank the you. good work, young bucks. Yeah. Good you. work, nice Russo. Work, fellas. Okay, on the business side, we have Megan Blair with us, who is the um, development director uh, for the San Diego Public Library Foundation. So, um, how did you guys find out about these kids in the first place? 
I first heard about MICA maybe about six to nine months ago and heard that there was a Lego library in the works. I didn't really quite believe it was going to be as impressive as it is, but this is what the library is all about. It's about teaching kids, giving them education, access to resources, making their dream of becoming an architect a reality. Um, Micah, can I ask you a quick question? So, by the way, I will publicly apologize for calling you some other name in the last report. Yeah. Um, do you go to High Tech High? Is yeah. this Is this project-based learning at High Tech High? Is this a project that you're using for school? Um, no. No, this is something you're doing in addition to go being yeah. a student at High Tech High? Yeah. Okay, now that just puts it on a totally different level. What does everybody down at the library think of these guys? Oh, we think it's fabulous. And we love the fact at the Library Foundation where we raise funds for all 36 public libraries in San Diego. The fact that Micah and Evan have taken it on to help us fundraise for this library is fantastic. What do you expect um, will come of this? I hope that one day Micah becomes an architect and comes back to, to visit the new Central Library, which opens on September 28th oh, wow. to the public. I hope that one day he comes back in 50 years and sees his Lego library sitting there and remembers that day. Oh, I have so many more questions for you, but we have to wrap. Um, thank you guys for being here. Uh, for more information, go to fox5sandiego.com. Kids, congratulations. I love your entrepreneurial spirit. Friends from for, for life, you guys have gone split off, gone to different high schools, have come back together for this project made it go big with the San Diego Foundation, the library and all. I'm just so impressed by your entrepreneurial spirit. So thank you for being here, and thank you guys at the library for what you're doing. Still ahead on Fox 5.